Hey everybody, happy Thursday! We're off to go see Ant-Man in a moment, so and I thought for a moment before we leave I'd give you some initial impressions because this is one of those Marvel movies that I am totally not looking forward to. I am a huge Marvel geek nerd as you can tell with all of this wonderful stuff behind me, Star Wars stuff, but in the other room we got a whole half of a room dedicated to Marvel. Um, I grew up loving the Avengers. And I grew up loving the Defenders. And for those folks that are not familiar with those particular comics, obviously the Avengers are big now and the Defenders are coming up, but more so than X-Men. And seeing these characters come to life have has been awesome. One of the weird things for me ever since the initial movie started coming out, this wave of Marvel, like Iron Man and Captain America and Thor, those were really kind of like tertiary characters in the Marvel Universe. They're not grade-A characters, but Marvel did a wonderful job at really making them into grade-A characters for the movies. Now we're getting into these movies like Ant-Man, um, we had Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy was way better than any of the other um, Marvel movies in my opinion. I think it was probably the best Marvel movie. Uh, maybe it was because we came in with such low expectations, but that's what I'm kind of going into Ant-Man with, is very low expectations. For those that don't know, Ant-Man was one of the original characters for the Avengers. He is the, the character that had uh, a much greater involvement in creating Ultron and things kind of got twisted around in the Marvel Cinematic Universe versus the comic universe. So I don't really know what to expect, although I can only say we've really gone off into well beyond tertiary characters into like third and fourth string people. You know, when we're talking about building movies around Ant-Man or, you know, Doctor Strange is coming up, and I know people are going to go see that because of Benedict Cumberbatch. Um, but really, really weird to see these types of properties coming to life. So, as you can, guys can tell, at least for now, you know, my opinion going into this, very um, trepidatious and not really looking forward to seeing this all that much because I'm expecting a giant train wreck. But I guess we'll see how things go. Let's check it out. <laughs> Altamont, we're coming to AMC. Look at that big red buses over there. So you can make yourself extra dizzy and appreciative of the movie by giving bullet beforehand. Oh, All right, so <laughs> we're done watching the movie. We found the poster. There's only one lonely poster outside here. And we've got Mary and Jesse. <laughs> what did you guys think? It was awesome. It was hysterical. I thought it was really funny. But we were all dying here. What, what is it on the Mary scale? Out of five. Five. Four. Four? Three. Yeah. Five. Well, five, five is perfect. Five. five out of five? For, yeah. Oh, yeah? I oh. would say four. It's really entertaining. Just it's four? Just... Now you're becoming more conservative. Yeah. Just like Jurassic well, World. Well, then man. you're going to, like, you know, say four, four and a half. <laughs> <laughs> so we've only down to, like, the Mary Scale's getting watered down because now we're afraid. We're supposed to unabashedly be okay. like... Okay, four and a half. It like, was really fun. I and said five. Five out of five. What did you like the best? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what did you like the best? Um, uh, the comic relief and the fact that the Avengers were mentioned in it. As for me, my rating, I'd probably give it, you know, I thought about a three and a half out of five, but I think I'm probably up until like a four out of five. It's very much similar to Guardians of the Galaxy in that there's a lot of comedy injected in the movie, although I think a lot of the comedy falls flat. But I think the acting makes up for it. So Michael Douglas, I think, knocked it out of the park. I thought he was phenomenal. Unbelievable. I don't do names. Evangeline Lilly, it was incredible to see her. You know, I don't think, I, I don't, can't remember her doing anything out after Lost. Lost, I know. Who's and that? now she's a star in this movie. We retreated to the review vehicle because there were other people hovering around the poster and it always looks ridiculous. People ask all the time about how do you film outside of the public and um, sometimes it's really awkward like that. But anyway, we were saying Evangeline Lilly, out of nowhere, kind of like Randy Orton, RKO, mm -hmm. from out of nowhere. <laughs> um, she knocked it out of the park. And um, Paul Rudd, I thought that he was he was good as He fit the character. The hero. I think all of these people that when they sign up, it's kind of like they're lucking out because they're getting into a Marvel picture and they realize that they're part of a bigger franchise. So, um, but the the story, 
Um, you know, I think people are probably going to watch this, and then if they go to see it, and they're going to be like, man, Cheap Seats went to go see this, and in the beginning part, it really sucks. It drags in the beginning. It's a little slow, um, but it really builds. I mean, the last 45 minutes of that movie or, or hour... It's incredible. It's really, really fun. Man. It's a fun superhero movie, and it's not like... Transformers or even like the Avengers where stuff was all over the place. I thought, you know, as as far as this compared to Avengers 2 this year, this was way better than Avengers 2. So, and I'm not giving you any of the spoilers because there's a lot of spoilers to be had, yes. you know, but I can tell you <laughs> that you want to stick around um, for the ending. There's two cutscenes at the ending, yep. not just one. So, <laughs> props to the people in the, that uh, talk to us on the way in, the people that work here, because they told us the to stick around. The ticket takers. There was two endings instead of just one. The other thing, as Mary was saying when we were walking back to the car, to the review vehicle, <laughs> um, she was talking about the cinematography and the way the ants are filmed. Oh my god, it was just incredible how you could see everything that's going on in like little teeny tiny forms. <laughs> this was one of those movies like, you know, sometimes Jesse and, and Mary both uh, complain because 3D um, is, is a little um, disjointing Dizzying. I think sometime. Um, but we went to AMC, they have the real 3D, um, at, I think probably real 3D all over the place, but any event. Um, this was one of those movies that I really think I would suggest to go see in 3D as opposed to going to see standard. Yeah, that and was incredible. The reason, you know, there's probably, you know, 80% plus of the movie that is totally thrown out. There's a cat in the parking lot. There's a cat lot. in the parking lot. I want to see it. <laughs> but in I the, know. Oh, I see it. Sidebar. <laughs> um, we're doing this live, people. Um, <laughs> There's so much in the movie that is non-3D based, but then when you get to the point where he shrinks down and you are seeing things like an ant perspective, the, I can't imagine seeing this in non-3D. Mm -mm. Because it, it's, it, you are totally so wild. immersed in the way that it's filmed. Yeah, so. exactly. All the grass and everything looks insane. <laughs> yeah. I, I, you know, I can't say enough about it. And I, I really liked it. <laughs> Any other comments? The one guy that hit it out of the park was the one guy, the character is like sidekick, smiled through the whole, just hysterical smile through the whole entire movie and he had the best lines. <laughs> yeah, so you think that Paul Rudd would end up having the most comedic uh, pieces of the movie and he actually doesn't. He has somebody else as, as a comic comedic foil. Oh yeah, uh, cousin Dolphy. <laughs> Yeah, he's really, it's really, really funny. Oh and I think I was that, like crying. I think <laughs> that for as much as the stuff that um, Paul Rudd has to say in the movie, where I said like some of the stuff hits and some of it doesn't hit, the, the other stuff for the other minor characters really did hit. As a matter of fact, one of the minor characters, which was hilarious to me, um, first time that you see him in the movie, I was like, wait a second, is that T.I.? Like, T.I. the rapper is in this movie. <laughs> this is not... A drill. No, T.I. the rapper is in, is in the, the movie. <laughs> and I looked at Mary and I was like, and for as much as I criticize about them talking all the time, I was like, I think that's T.I. in the movie. <laughs> so, and I'm like, what? <laughs> and he's really funny and he's really good too. Oh yeah, yeah. But any other final thoughts? Anything from you? Well, if you want to have a fun time in a movie, go see it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah gets the thumbs up from us. So mm -hmm. that's it for our movie review. Well, we're back home. That was a lot of fun, but I gotta get some sleep. Tomorrow we're gonna head up to Cocoa Beach, check out an NXT show. So, on that note, thank you for all of your likes, thank you for your comments, thank you for your subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Have a great night. We'll see you guys.